Ariel. I'm the uh, CEO of Cartesian Cone. Uh, Sorry, what was your name again? Ariel. Like Ariel. the mermaid. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. So tell us what you've got here. Okay, this is the... This is the... Argentum. It's a, uh, it's a bit of a play on words because Argentum is Latin for silver, okay. and the printer prints in silver. Okay, fantastic. So this is the this is the world's first desktop 3D printer. I'm not. It's literally the world's first desktop 3D printer to print circuit boards. So here are some examples of the circuit boards we printed. This is this is one of the uh, unlike most 3D printers Which you might be familiar with that print in plastic and then they use that plastic to print you know, objects, parts, tools, that sort of thing. Ours print electronics. Um, so why is that important? Well, because how many objects around us right now are purely mechanical, don't contain any electronic components? I, don't, I actually don't buy bottles. There you go. So, so on a 3D printer, you can make a box. Quite good resolution. On this so printer, you can make every other thing. <laughs> so, so you can. Essentially, what you're doing is 3D electronic circuits. Exactly. And why is that important to makers? Well, because if you want to make anything that has any electronics in it, if you are into Arduino um, stuff, if you're into Raspberry Pi stuff, you want to make a sensor, you want to make something that opens your door, you want to make a card reader. Those are going to require you making a circuit board, yeah, or, the or the, is, uh, you're going to have to make something on breadboard. Right. So now, breadboard's fine. Breadboard's great. It's good for testing. It's good for testing, but it's expensive. The components, you have to use through-hole components, there aren't as widely available as their uh, surface mount cousins, which is what we mostly use. You can also use through-hole components on with the thing our printer makes, but just use surface mount. It's easier, they're cheaper, there's more of them. And also, when you wire up a breadboard, it's quite challenging. You've got wires hanging everywhere they can pull out. We can have exactly the same thing printed in about 30 minutes. So if I want to send that and get it made in China, how long is it going to take me? That's a great question. So um, uh, this exact board, I've costed this one up, it would cost around about $50 from my preferred supplier, which is Scene Studio. Per board? Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, you have to order a minimum of five boards. Okay, so even if you only want one, you get five. That's $50 once you include the slow posting. How long does it take? It takes two weeks. Right. If you and order the fast, fast postage, right? that yeah. would be the fast postage. It would take four if you order the slow postage. So that's actually a lot better than it used to be. Yeah. But still, that's assuming you get it right in yeah. one go. Right. I don't think I've ever designed a circuit that I got right, right in one go. So, so that turn... $50 becomes 100 That yeah. two weeks becomes four. Yeah. Instead, this board right here, I designed this in about 15, 20 minutes. But I'm an experienced designer. I don't expect everyone to be able to do it that quickly. Yeah. Um, but I printed it. In about 30 minutes, everyone can do it that way, completely hands off. Yep. And then I assembled it in about 15. Fantastic. And this is actually a game, it's a memory game called Simon Says. It plays you a, a song and you have to uh, play it back. Probably can't hear the noise, it's a bit loud in here, but you still see the lights. And this was a game that was made by Hasbro. It was a big plastic disc, and I used to have one when I was a kid, but I had no idea where it went. So I decided one day, I'll just print my own. And I went from cherished childhood memory to working toy in an hour. Fantastic. And the best part was the first one was wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I printed right. so another one. I printed another one. I made a silly mistake. If you had to go mistake. to Shenzhen to get that made, that you would have waited been, a month, six weeks. I wouldn't have paid fifty dollars and no. waited two weeks for bucks. a little toy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't. I, that wouldn't have been something that would have been worth it to me. But when I have the ability to just print it on my desk. Then I can do lots of really fun things and I can improve my own skills at making electronics. Fantastic. So where do they get one if they want it? When can uh, they have one? So at Cartesian Co. Cartesianco.com. We have our website there, we have our blog, which has a whole bunch of uh, stuff that we made. They're shipping now? And we are shipping actually right now. Fantastic. Half of our team is back in Brisbane, which is where we're based. So you did a Kickstarter? Up. We did a Kickstarter at the end of last year. What did you get? Uh, we raised, our goal was $30,000, we raised $137,000. Um, and we got a lot more orders than we originally anticipated. Uh, Have so you that was, them all yet? yeah, that, that's what we consider batch one. <laughs> right. Batch one is the one that is currently shipping. Fantastic. So as soon as we get back after the fair, yeah. we're going to finish boxing it up, send it off to DHL. And they're going out to all of the all of the backers. Batch two, which we've been selling since Kickstarter, has already filled up. Fantastic. So that ships in September. So how many in total of yourself? Can you tell us or not? Oh, I, I, I would be happy to if I knew. It, it's more than a hundred. Uh, it's like you know a hundred couple dozen or something That's like awesome. that. I don't have the exact numbers on top of my head. I, I think actually we might have sold a couple today, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, batch three is currently for sale and um, uh, that ships in November. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. The laptop is missing. It should be right here. But running? We'll take a shot of it in a minute. Yeah, well, when, it, when it's running up, we'll, we'll show you a photo. We're actually printing out 
some conductive business cards. And so make sure you grab yourself a conductive business card. One of the very few conductive business cards I would say anywhere in the world. That's awesome. So uh, grab yourself one of those. Can you print this one out? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Particular name? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, we'd have to just change the design on the computer, but we have some that are ready. Okay. That we can cut you up. So go and talk to. Maybe that's fantastic. Tom Thanks at so the much. other end of the